I did a medical physics module and I just loved everything about it. It was just, it was made for me. A few years later, I was looking what I could do with medical physics and diagnostic radiography was like one of the first things that came up. And coupled with the fact that as well, I've always had an interest in human anatomy. It was just, it was like the perfect course, like it was made for me. And I had always wanted to work in healthcare as well. So it was a no brainer really. My main experience is in x-ray. The responsibility is to read the requests that come through the x-ray requests. We need to make sure they reach um, a lot of standards that we have, that they've come from the correct professional, that what the professional's looking for will show up on the x-ray, encouraging patients through the examinations positioning them so that we get you know, as good images as we can possibly get so that they're diagnostic um, and also keeping the dose to patients as low as possible. Um, obviously reducing radiation to patients is one of our number one responsibilities um, and it all sort of ties into that. So the structure of the course is 50% clinical based, 50% academic based. The on-campus experience is the balance of lectures, seminars, um, smaller group learning. We'd have skills sessions um, and simulations um, just to prepare us for academic learning as well as the practical skills in sort of a safe controlled environment. The clinical placement experiences, you're working with real patients, so you're working within radiology departments within the hospital. You're taking x-rays on real patients, you know, interacting with them, helping the radiographers with the complex examinations. In terms of the service users and conditions that we'd sort of see on a daily basis, it would depend on the department that you're in that day. Um, so if I was doing mainly GP patients, it would be a lot of hands, feet, knees for arthritis or just general aches and pains. Uh, whereas if I was in ED, it would be sort of spines, hips, you know, broken limbs uh, from trauma. And then if, say, for example, if I was in CT, it might be a lot of CT head scans, again, for head injuries, that sort of thing. Every year you get a bit more opportunity to do more complex examinations. So at the end of the three years, you are basically a radiographer without the responsibility. Obviously, they're supervising you, so, but everything else, the positioning, the patient care, that's all developed fully, so you're prepared as a newly qualified radiographer. And I think as well, at the University of Salford, you were at the same placement site for the whole three years, so you do really get integrated as part of the team, which is nice. So there are so many areas of radiography and there's more developing all the time. Everything that I've tried, I've really enjoyed. Nuclear medicine was something that I didn't know about before I started the course. Um, but once I learned about it, I asked if I could do an elective placement doing nuclear medicine. Um, so I got to choose to be there um, and I loved every minute of that. So that's probably the speciality that I'm most interested in at the moment. So my plans for the future are to stay in x-ray for the next two years at least. Um, I got into radiography because I love x-rays. Um, I love the amount of patients I get to see in a day um, and the challenges of positioning patients for every, every different view. Um, so that's something I want to really master. I think my number one tip for students that are starting to study radiography is that when they get onto placement is to just really get stuck in. Um, because the sooner you get stuck in, the less scary it is immediately. I'm so pleased that I chose this course. I've loved every second of it. Um, I've loved learning about every, all the anatomy, all the physics, dealing with service users, um, developing my communication skills and my positioning skills. Um, I would say that it's something that's really brought me out of my shell. Communicating with these patients every day has just been a perfect experience for me.